Hello, this is Jeff from Studio41Gaming, and welcome to a video that will be outdated in a month or two when two or three of these games are delayed to next year. So, without much further ado, let's quickly get into this before Rage 2 gets delayed. Ah, good luck at this game getting delayed, but it is Kingdom Hearts 3, so we're eight days out, but you never know with this freaking game. I'm not going to believe this game exists until I have it in my hands. Kingdom Hearts 3 is a game that we have been waiting a long time for. Me, not so much since I actually really got into Kingdom Hearts lately, and I'm definitely not a hardcore fan of the franchise by any means. But I'm definitely looking at Kingdom Hearts 3, and it's going to be interesting. I can't wait to play in Toy Story World. I'm, I think I mentioned it in my Kingdom Hearts review that I'm a more of a diehard Disney fan, so uh, that's the main reason why I'm playing any Kingdom Hearts game is for the Disney stuff. So with Toy Story World and a couple other ones that look really awesome, uh, I can't wait for Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm going to sink my fangs deep into this game when it comes out next Tuesday. And we'll probably get a stream going for it too that night as well, so be sure to check it out, but I can't wait for Kingdom Hearts 3 next. If there is a candidate to get delayed to 2020, then this game's probably it, and that is Rage 2. Rage 2 is a total departure from Rage 1, which was the most generic open-world shooter I think ever created. And Rage 2 basically looks like it's Borderlands on bath salts, which is always a great thing. They've teased an action RPG direction for this game, and that definitely has me interested because I love Borderlands 2. Borderlands pre-sequel is pretty good too, but uh, it's not even near the stratosphere that Borderlands 2 is in. That game is awesome. Rage 2, if they take that action RPG direction with all the insane shit you can do from these... Just seeing these trailers, I mean, this game might be the most mindless awesome game ever created. I cannot wait for Rage 2. I seriously hope it doesn't get delayed, but... If it does, I'm still going to be there day one to get it. Next. Oh, the most recent addition to this list, but it's definitely up here nonetheless, is Outer Worlds. This is another game that wouldn't shock me too much to get delayed into 2020, but it's they tentatively got it for 2019, so we're putting it on here because this game looks awesome. It's basically Obsidian's answer to not getting another crack at Fallout, and the fans have been letting Bethesda know about it. Seriously, after this game was announced, the shit that came from this, and with Fallout 76 being a massive shit show, just the memes and the articles and comics that have come out of that have been so awesome. And Obsidian's kind of rolling with it. They're saying you can play this game however you want, and it's going full tilt RPG goodness. I mean, I wouldn't expect much less from Obsidian and two of the original Fallout creators working on the game. <sighs> this game looks like it could very well be the next great RPG that just takes off into its own like, whole new generation almost of RPG gamers that spawn from it. You know, like Final Fantasy 7, Skyrim. I mean, I'm even part of the Skyrim one if you want to get technical, but this seems like our worlds, if it can live up to what the Obsidian's looking at for it, holy hell, this game's going to be awesome. Next. Uh, well, I don't have any trailer to show, but here's a Detective Pikachu trailer. This is Pokemon 2019. We know it's coming. It's on the Switch. And god damn, I cannot wait for this game. Like, this... Yeah, and this isn't number one, by the way. This and number one are, like, so much farther ahead of the last three. I, like, I'm still hyped for Kingdom Hearts 3, Rage 2, and Outer Worlds. But this and the next game are, like, a whole nother level. I cannot, f literally cannot wait to see what Pokemon does on the Nintendo Switch. I think I said it in the last video for anticipated games I made last year. I might have even brought it up in the one per before it, I... Uh, I would have to go look 
and see if I even actually did one for 2017. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I cannot wait for Pokemon 2019. I am praying to ever-loving God that it is the open-world Pokemon game I and I think the entire fan base wants. Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu definitely held me over. I definitely enjoyed those games. Well, Eevee is the one I got. I definitely enjoyed those games, but... Oh my god, I cannot wait for the next main series Pokemon game, Gen 8. That day one purchase might get the deluxe edition. We're gonna freaking... <laughs> I, I'm, I'm almost like running out of words to even explain how hyped I am for that game. And the fact that this is number two goes to show you, yeah, number one is legit. Next. Oh my god. Oh, Doom Eternal. I can't wait for this game. When I saw the trailer for this game, I literally, I think, needed new underwear. I, I'm pretty sure I destroyed the old pair from the freaking erection I got from watching the trailer for this game. Doom Eternal is literally like like, Doom 2016 was perf 99% perf perfect. Like, if you're shooting for anything better than that, you're just insane. But Jesus Christ, Doom Eternal might actually be better. And I never in a million years would have ever thought it would be able to top Doom 2016. I knew they would try, but just from the trailer of Doom Eternal alone, uh, they're doing it. This game looks unreal. The freaking executions you can do. The freaking the cutscene with Doom Guy walking into the office and as everyone's just dumbfounded looking at him. Doom Slayer, sorry. Don't kill me, fanboys. The BFG ten thousand or whatever the hell they called it, shooting just off into nothing. This game is everything. And it, it, it doesn't even have a release date yet. I pray to God this game isn't delayed into 2020 because I might cry. I cannot overstate how hyped I am for Doom Eternal. This is probably about the most hyped I've ever been for a game. And the previous would have been like Destiny or Halo 3. But Doom Eternal, holy God, I cannot wait for this game. It looks incredible. Id, please, delay it if you have to. But, God, just make this game as good as it looks in the trailers. Please. Thanks for watching. I need, I need a minute. Whew.